So, a few months ago, Leah and I made a video about our honest monthly expenses. And a lot of you had a lot of feelings about it. <laughs> like a lot. Hey team, welcome back to another episode. Today we are talking about money once again. Money, 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 money. <laughs> this is a follow-up to our previous video where we talk about our monthly expenses. That video got a lot of reactions from you. Uh, some of them positive, some of them not so positive. And so we thought we would make this as sort of like a follow-up to see if we can live a zero waste lifestyle, a low impact lifestyle as we like to call it, as affordably as possible while still, you know, like enjoying ourselves. Not just living like hermits, eating crackers in our basement or something. This episode we are very excited to announce is sponsored by Van City Credit Union, which is a local credit union here on the west coast of Canada. Um, this is a cool announcement for us because it means that we've divested money from the big banking system, and also they're an amazing institution that we're excited to share with you. So look forward to the sponsored segment later in this video because they think it's pretty awesome. They're odd. actually really great, and yeah. we actually like use them as our bank. Yeah. So I don't know, like, Pretty fantastic. All right, so similar to how we did this previously, we are going to quiz Leah on our monthly expenses, comparing our previous month's expenses from the month of May to our last month's expenses for middle of September into October. I swear, like, I, I am quite, you know, uh, financially literate. I make money, I'm really good at managing money, but you... I don't know, I feel, I feel on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> so our housing costs, which I sort of adapted from our previous video, this includes our internet, cell phones, heat, electricity, insurance, and the mortgage is $13.99 a month. And we also recognize, and that came up a lot in the other video, that our mortgage payments are incredibly low. And the only reason that we're able to do that is because of Levi's parents and his family helping us buy this condo. In the month of May for transportation, Leah and I spent $284.53 getting around. Now we don't own a car, so this was moto, busing, bike repairs, etc. This month, Leah, we spent... Oh, we did a trip though. Okay, we spent $515. We actually spent a almost exactly the same amount of money. We spent $287.84. Now, this is slightly adjusted because as we'll explain later, we did some traveling where cost was involved, but I didn't include that in the transportation section because I wanted this to sort of stand alone as like the average transportation that we would spend as people who don't own a car. I think it really speaks to our lifestyle as well, where most of the time we are biking or walking to wherever we need to go, and then occasionally if we're visiting family or wanting to go see friends, yeah. then we'll get moto. The big cost for this month was one trip that we took up to Nanaimo to go visit Leah's parents, and that trip on its own was $180. So if it weren't for that one trip, uh, this cost could have been less than half of what it is right now. In terms of fun and travel this month, this includes things like, you know, buying ourselves a thing that we've wanted to buy for a while, or, you know, going out for an adventure. Previously, in May, we spent $557.63. This month, Leo, we spent... Including our fun trip? Including our fun trip. $600? $1,007, oh wait, no, I said it wrong. <laughs> $1,005.75. Wow. Okay, I think there's a huge caveat in there that we have to say, that we went to a wedding, yep. and how often do you go to a wedding in a month or in a year? We had a great time. We got to dress up as cowboys and ride horses, which I have done like three times in my life, so. I don't know, I don't feel bad, I don't feel bad. <laughs> so we recognized that this was going to be kind of an outlier in our money, but we wanted to try and make it as low impact as possible again. So we opted to take public transit to the ferry terminal 
And then we were fortunate enough to have my parents come down and pick us up in their hybrid car in order to get us home. I think this is a part of also living in a place that is really car dependent. Maybe mm. if we were living in Europe or somewhere else, we could have taken the train to get there, but we were going to a really remote location in BC. Uh, so there was no other way for us to get there other than being in a vehicle. We decided to go on a horseback ride with some of our friends. And while this was expensive, you know, this is a memory that we get to have and it doesn't involve a physical thing that we then have to sort of figure out where to store the rest of the year. The cowboy boots I seriously consider taking home with us. But at the same time, great when you're at a ranch, when will I ever wear cowboy boots in Victoria? In terms of business expenses, previously in the month of May, we spent $312.26. For the previous month, Leah, we spent much more than that. Uh, uh, $870? Very close. Uh, really? This month, we spent $4,817.42. Why did you even say I was close? <laughs> I was just off by $4,000. Okay, you need to explain because other people are gonna be like <gasps> Yes, so as some of you may know, we are launching a new channel November 3rd called Future Proof. Um, and the business is expanding at a pretty aggressive rate right now. It used to just be us, and now it is us plus five people who are helping us create content. And so almost all of that cost is going towards paying people to make scripts, edit videos, animate things, etc. For some people, your business expenses, maybe you wouldn't lump into your monthly expenses, but when your business is literally us yeah. and being in this space, um, yeah, it's important to make sure that that's a part of it. So the Future Proof channel is going live on November 3rd, and the whole purpose of that channel is to get back to the old explainer style videos that I made when I started this channel. They take a lot of work, a lot of effort and research, and they were honestly burning me out. So this is gonna be a whole new place where we can create that kind of content that I know that all of you love. So if you're interested in that, please go and subscribe to the channel, it's live. There's no content on there yet, but there will be soon. And hopefully this can be a cool new project that doesn't just hemorrhage money forever. <laughs> <laughs> Creating Future Proof was a big reason why we decided to switch to Van City Credit Union. And that's why it's so cool that they decided to sponsor this video. I think there was this naive assumption with banks that I know I used to have that they were like kindly doing us a service by holding on to our money for us. So we're not mm. like stuffing yeah. it under a mattress. No, they are a business. They are out to make money and also to make sure that their stakeholders are also making money. So you kind of want to know how is that money being used and what is it supporting? And that's what's amazing about Van City Credit Union. They're actually a cooperative, which means that they're member owned. When we signed up for Van City, we both paid a $5 deposit. And instead of the profits that this company makes going towards a few shareholders on a yacht somewhere in the middle of the ocean, all of that money goes back into the communities that they're a part of. Last year, they shared $13.9 million with their members and their community. And they do this every year. Van City was also the first financial institution that actually offered women to get a bank loan without having a male co-signer. They were the first carbon neutral financial institution in North America, and they created the first responsible investment portfolio back in 1986. That was before we were born. Yeah. <laughs> like almost a decade before we were born. <laughs> honestly, we could make a whole video about all of the amazing stuff that they do because honestly, it is lengthy and impressive. When I was thinking about switching, I looked at the prices and I had some questions. So I called my big bank and I was on hold for like three hours and I didn't actually get to talk to anyone. And then I called Van City afterwards and within minutes, I was talking to a guy named Chris and he was awesome. So a huge thank you to Van City for sponsoring this video and we're so excited to continue working with you. Well, yeah, we have to because literally all of our banking is <laughs> set up with all, Van City they now. They got all our money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad 
though, right? Like we literally put our money where our mouth is. One of the sections that got people fired up was how much we spend eating out. And it was a whopping $762.84. This month we spent $375? Wow. Am I close? We spent $323.10. Okay, so we like cut more than cut that in half. Yes, less than half of what we spent the month previously and this was just down to us being a lot more deliberate about eating out. This didn't mean that we compromised on the quality of the food that we were eating. Mm -hmm. Like we were still able to support local businesses and eat really well that whole time, but just have most of it at home. We saved our dine out experiences for when we had friends to enjoy it with. So we had a couple that we know from Vancouver come over and we went out for some food and that just made it extra special and we savored those meals even more. Alcohol. Previous month, we spent $314.32 in one month on alcohol, and this month we spent... 187. Wow, we are killing it right now. Are we? We spent $114.08. I mean, We're so responsible. <laughs> I was super impressed with this. Right? This is tea and not booze, so. Got you. Be impressed. Woo. Yeah. It's one of those things too of like, when you live somewhere that is like colder or more temperate throughout the years, like a lot of people who live in Canada love summer because it's so short here. Yeah. So whenever you can get on a patio and like have some sangria or something, we're there. And now we're like, okay. Hunker down. Let's have some red wine and stay home. Food. Now this is probably the fieriest of the sections. Um, previously we spent $1,013.50 on food. Not dining out, food. This month, we hold it, this month we spent $654. We spent $428.35. What? Wow. Less than half of what we spent. Once again, we are amazing. <laughs> I'm really impressed with this number. I think that this was the thing I was the most concerned with because if this number was still equally high, it really shows that zero waste, low impact eating is, is not attainable for a lot of people. But $428 for two people to eat at home, I think is very affordable. I think that's that's achievable for a lot of people and that honestly was like really amazing for me to see because I was worried that like we were gonna reveal that like essentially it's impossible to eat an affordable zero waste plant-based diet. But I do think that there is a lot of privilege that is making our zero waste life more affordable. We happen to live in an urban center, so it's easy for us to walk to lots of different yep. grocery stores to make sure that we can get everything that we want. So that cost of driving a car, if you're in a place that you have to travel a really long distance in order to get food, that's not a part of our reality. We also work from home, which I yep. love, but that means we can go grocery shopping at any time of day, and you're not trying to pack it in at the end of your workday, rush home, feed your family, go to bed. There are so many layers of privilege that make that easier for us to do because of who we are and where we live. So is it possible to live a affordable zero waste lifestyle? Yes, it, it absolutely is. You can totally do it, but you have to recognize the limitations that you have in your own life and try to work within them. It comes down to a lot more than just individual action. It's those larger societal pieces that really have an impact on what we have access to, how much time we have to prepare yeah. the food that we're eating, but also how you can balance that budget with two people or a whole family. So in our previous month, we spent $4,315.58. This month, if you take out the business expenses, we set at $3,558.13. So with a bit of conscious effort, some deliberation and some planning, we were able to save $757.45 in a single month. While living 
as low impact as we can and still enjoying ourselves, still enjoying and living our lives as fully as we can. And I think that's, I think that's pretty awesome. I think it would be beneficial for a lot of people to break down exactly what they spend each month. I know prior to this, I talked to a lot of friends who were like, oh, there's no way that I spent that much. And then when they actually added it up, all of those things you don't really think about, like getting a coffee on your way to yeah. work or, or putting gas in your car, when you add that all up, I think it adds up to a lot more than what we actually think. But regardless of how you feel about this whole experience and whether or not we did good or did bad, we wanna thank you for being here, for watching these videos, for supporting what we do. And uh, if you are subscribed, then we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye everyone. We did good or did bad. <laughs> Did I say that? That's what you said. Did we did good or did bad? <laughs> I guess you said do good. I don't know. Does that make sense? It sounded weird to me. <laughs>